Welcome back to another video. I am Vertilify, and I am bringing you with the top 10 Mega Evolutions. I'm going to be giving you these top 10 Mega Evolutions, in my opinion, that I think are really, really cool. And I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. I just sat down and thinking about some cool Mega Evolutions they could add to Pokemon Platinum. Diamond and Pearl remakes, and I just got in the mood for some Mega Evolutions. So let's get right to it. First, I have three honorable mentions for you guys that couldn't make it into this list because two of them are a bit overrated. And one's just, oh yeah, they're pretty much all overrated, the honorable mentions, so I didn't feel like they should be put actually on the list. Those three honorable mentions are Mega Charizard X, Mega Charizard Y, and Mega Mewtwo X. With those out of the way, let's get right into the top 10. Moving on to the top 10, we got Mega Rayquaza. Mega Rayquaza is a really, really cool looking Pokemon. I love the spikes they added to its jaw. I really think it is an amazing Mega. I think they added it in Auras, but they could have added it in X and Y, who am I to say? They added a lot of Auras Pokemon Mega Evolutions and X and Y, and a lot of X and Y Pokemon Mega Evolutions and Auras, and it's just a weird cycle. Moving on to our number 9 spot, guys, we got Mega Abomasnow. Mega uh, Abomasnow is not going on any higher on the list because it's a little bit too much. It has a lot going on, and it's kind of hard to focus on the main details that come with this Mega. It is really cool though. It's not that strong, especially since it's quad weak to fire, which sucks. And that's pretty much all I can say. And if this video is going fast, I just wanted this video to be very, very quick. Just very, very kind of sped up. So let me just get a cool little video out for you guys. Moving on to our number eight spot, we got Scissor. Scissor is a really cool Pokemon, and his Mega's even better. I do think, though, that his pincers are better on the regular form of him. They make him look a bit too robotic in the Mega, but he still is a cool Mega overall. He's strong, powerful, and the most powerful bug and steel types there are. His Mega was a really cool touch to him that I think he definitely deserved. He's definitely deserving of this Mega, and I hope you guys think so, too. Moving on to the number 7 spot, we got Blaziken. Blaziken was actually introduced in Pokemon X and Y, which I don't even think you could get him in X and Y, but he was still introduced in X and Y. Um, maybe the information I have is mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it's true. Mega Blaziken is really cool. I think it's definitely an improvement from regular Blaziken. In my opinion, regular Blaziken is a bit dull, and I don't really like too much, but... Mega Blaziken really adds a cool touch to it. It's strong and it is competitive, so that's good as well. Moving on to the number six spot, we have Houndoom. Mega Houndoom is made in the number six spot because he's a really, really cool Pokemon. I love the devilish look to him, and he's just really a cool Pokemon. Moving on to number five, we got Mega Absol. The Absol is one of my favorite Megas ever, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I love the wings they added to it and the curly fur down its side of its face. Really bring it out to me. It's strong, and I vaguely remember someone using it in the X and Y anime. I don't know who, but someone used it. I don't remember who, maybe let me know in the comments who used it, but it's a really cool Pokemon. Moving on to our number... Sorry about this, guys. Pam, come. This video behind me. It's how I got this diamond play button. <laughs> Number four spot, we got Garchomp. Garchomp is a really cool Pokemon, and his Mega does him a really good service. He is in the X and Y anime, and that's what I really remember him from. 
he has a good Mega, and the design was overall perfect. Moving on to the number 3 spot, we got Mega Mewtwo Y. Mega Mewtwo Y is the best out of the Mewtwo Megas, and I think you all will agree. Moving on to the number 2 spot, we got Mega Lucario. Really nice Pokemon. My favorite Mega, apart from number 1, of course. And moving on to number 1, we got Mega Sceptile. My favorite Mega of all of them. And I think that's it. Anyways, guys, this video was very, very rushed. And I meant it. I didn't mean to make it rushed. Or a lot of you guys may think I didn't mean to make it rushed, but I did. I just wanted this quick little video about my top 10 Megas. That was just a bit quicker than the normal video. And I also have to do something today. I'm a little bit busy, so I can't really make a long video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little short video I made. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.